Hey guys, Carter's Garage here with you. I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Um, just been kind of busy with work, kind of got back to work and everything, and just haven't had the time to make videos. Um, had a little bit of time today. Um, so I've done quite a bit to my bike over the last month or so that I haven't posted a video. Let me pull it out here a little bit. So, <clears throat> um... I don't remember if I made a fender video, but I customized a rear fender since mine was broken. I got uh, uh, the Daymac electric bike plate. I have this um, back rack that I got from Oh My God Extras out of Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And... I think it was like $59.99 or $49.99. It's from a Daymac Rogue. I bought it. Just kind of like I couldn't find anything about it. Nothing. No one else has done it. And if they have done it, they sure haven't uh, shared it. Um, so I kind of bought it on just a gamble. Um, it looked like, you know, the mounts that go under here, underneath your seat, um, which I'm having troubles getting off lately. Um yeah it just goes right in there bolts right up i didn't have to do any kind of fabricating or monkeying around nothing like that um so yeah that that was uh off of daymac rogue um got a new key ignition um came with um that lock as well and the lock for your seat but i'm having issues with it um I don't know if I ever did a video on my charging port. Usually these are inside the storage tank. Um, I found it kind of dumb that I had to have mine open and charging. So uh, since I bought one with the flap on it and put it on the exterior, I just cut a little hole with my uh, couple different tools that I have here. and. The wires just ran right to it and it's plug and play and that is it's way more convenient <clears throat> I don't have to do anything as you can see it looks just as looks just as good um, so I got a new display as well since mine was glitchy I, the, the half the numbers weren't working and stuff but my kilometers per hour the reading on it is not working everything else is working properly but the kilometers per hour so I don't know what is going on there. Um, oh, sorry, I think I think my front's a little loose there. Um, I got new handlebars because my old ones were bent. Um, so the, um, yeah, they're they were and like it's actually crazy because I didn't know that like a anodized aluminum could actually s sun fade. But this is the color that it's supposed to be. And as you can tell, this is the original. And like, original, brand new. Even my shocks are like that. You can, it's totally different orange. So um, I'm going to have to get a new shock here. They come as a pair. So I'm just going to, I think they're $139.99. But this, this. Uh, seal on the shock here is is gone so um and i don't really know if these are rebuildable or not i'm not really gonna do it i've rebuilt shocks from my dirt bike before but i doubt since these are chinese shocks i doubt that they're rebuildable so and it's probably just just as easy to get and just as cheap to get new shocks um well what, what else have i done so I have not got a stereo yet. I think that's probably the next upgrade I want to do is a, is a stereo. Um, but, uh, oh, so I, I made a trailer, like a, a, but like a bike trailer. I took one of those kids trailers. It was a two, two seater kids trailer that I got for 40 bucks off the Facebook marketplace. Um, I went and got groceries with it. The only reason why I got it is so I can go get groceries. 
because usually like on this thing I, I can only get 20 30 40 dollars max of groceries and fit it into a uh, stuff it into a backpack um so i kind of do like i wanted to be able to get dog food like i get a huge 20 kilogram bag of dog food i can't really stick that on here i did the one day on the back here and had it all strapped down but i don't know it was just kind of i don't know i didn't like i didn't i didn't i didn't i did not like doing that um so so yeah so i bought a kid's trailer and this is it here i have it all kind of stripped down i've already actually gone i got this a couple days ago so i used it the other day just to get groceries just as it was how it came and it had the whole fabric around it and you know the it, it like <clears throat> it you could actually fold the metal framing down and up with the fabric on it and stuff like that but uh it was kind of flimsy like i think i put uh, like it's a 20 kilogram bag so that's like 40 something pounds plus you know i got milk and chocolate milk and you know all kinds i got i got 180 dollars worth of groceries yesterday and i was able to s just stick it in there um, because this part is all, this part here on it was all open. There was no, like, no door or nothing, you know, there's, so, like, I was kind of scared of my groceries kind of falling out front of it or whatever, um, but thankfully they didn't. Um, so last night I kind of got monkeying around and I was gonna, I was gonna do steel, like, I was gonna do steel sides and I was gonna try to still make it all foldable and stuff. But then that it ended up just being too difficult, and I didn't have enough steel. So I had a bunch of pressure treat left over from building fence. And um, so I took the whole folding part down, and I just had just the, just the frame like this. Um, I had to get some new tires. Um, it, came, it comes with this trailer hitch part, or trailer hitch part. Um, it actually had some kind of mechanism on here that actually kind of bolted on to, like, I made this trailer hitch thing here, went on to the back nut, and up to the one nut there on the back, and this part thing here clamped on, clamped on to there. Um, it's old, it's flimsy, um, this this thing here I felt like could easily pop up I was able to easily pop it up so I started to do some research and there's actually these metal things where the ball that ball thing just slides in here and you put this pin through there it can it can articulate this way and this way and then this way and this way so it's way better way sturdier and it was actually I a spare bike that I had out back actually had this metal part on it, which that's funny. What are the odds of that? So, so yeah, so I, so with this, I ended up putting with the, you can see the one piece of plywood over there. I bolted that from the bottom. I flipped it over, bolted that from the bottom, uh, or screwed it, I should say, drilled and screwed. And then I built, um, two fence boards high i think they're five and a half inches so 11 inches tall um wall all the way around it and i have it all i had it all together last night i couldn't sleep so i was bored built it last night um just like this it's like eight pounds with all that wood on it it's 30 pounds so what i think i'm actually going to end up doing is just like I'm going to cut those boards in half and I'm going to kind of space them out a little bit. It's probably going to take 10, 15 pounds off. Be quite surprised. Um, so I'm probably going to do that because I don't need a full wall all the way around. Like I'm not going to be, this is just for groceries. Maybe the odd stuff here and there, but I'm not going to be filling it with dirt or nothing like that. Nothing that it needs, that it needs a fully um like a fully sealed wall all the way around so and then i'm probably gonna go get get a cargo net to go over top of it um 
so yeah um so yeah i have this all apart right now because i'm actually going to be here i'll show you actually how it goes on but i'm actually going to be painting the frame and the rims and stuff like that so this ball just slides right let me do that again so this slides right in and you just put that pin in there it can't come out and as you can see this arm is angled out and then in so that's how it like with my bike being straight that's how that's how it looks pretty cool eh and yeah like i'm not worried about my bike being able to tow it like this thing's got lots of power i'm only 145 150 pounds soaking wet so you know i and i i love being a, you're not i'm tall i'm six foot but i'm just skinny so i love being a skinny guy um especially for this electric stuff my roommate he tries this and he's 200 i think 48 pounds but he's still it, this thing still picks up and goes it's got 50 amps of power like 50 amps of or 80 newton meters of torque and 50 amps peak power and blah 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 blah, blah. But I'm actually going to be getting my 2,000 watt controller soon. Um, it said that was in Mississauga, so um, yeah, hopefully that's coming soon. But yeah, so this is this is great. Um, I am super excited. Um, I'm going to be painting the frame and the rims all black and stuff. So I'll do a couple more videos here and there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, and I got some. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing. Um, sorry that I haven't been doing any videos or anything like that. I will hopefully be doing some more videos here and there. There's the race car. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be getting new brakes. Um, new brake rotors, new brake pads here soon. Um, and... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I've done to it that I am aware of. But okay, thanks guys. I will let you go. And I'm going to get to painting this and cutting these down.